Hello friends. In this video, I will show a software called Trello that can be used to track bugs for quality management, for quality manager or a testing manager. We compared the software with many other softwares out there like Backlog, Monday.com, Jira. And the advantage Trello has, Trello has is that it does not have a memory limit. So for other softwares, we, we see a 100 MB memory limit. But for this software, there is no 100 MB memory limit. And the advantage of that is that you can use it for as long as you want. And there is no mandatory requirement to shift to something else. That's a complete feature set. So in Trello, we have a feature of boards. So in this case, if you see for me, I have this board open. And there's also something called calendar, which I will cover in the next video. And it's organized like a typical sprint and scrum setup. You have the backlog of all the bugs and features that you have to fix. Sprint backlog for all the issues that have to be fixed in the current sprint in progress or what's being in progress and so on. Let us show you how to add a card now. So add a card is basically adding an issue. Say the issue is user login not working. So I've, I've added the issue now and now I can click on the issue and it opens this kind of display where I can assign the issue to a member. I can label the issue. I can also assign a due date or an attachment for the issue. And I can describe the issue and also assign a heading. And I can also make this a template. So once I have a template, I can use this for all the other issues. Let us show you how this can be used for bug tracking. So over here I say user login not working and I click save. Then I go to labels and I say this is a bug. And here I can change the color. Like if I don't like the color here, I can just make it red for, for example, right? And to save. And I can assign it to a member. In this case, I'm assigning it to myself. Now, I can also assign it another label. For instance, if I know it's a web issue, as compared to mobile, I can just say web and then mark it here. Another important feature that Trello offers is that I can assign a due date. So say I say the due date is January 21st and I put as save. So this is an easy way to track what the developer commitment is and how we can track that. And once this is fixed, I can click on check, which marks the issue as complete. And this issue is up right now it's in the backlog. Once we decide to move to the sprint, we can just move to the sprint. And once it's picked up in the sprint, we can move it to in progress and then to the sprint complete. And we can also plan for future releases. So for instance, if I have client requests, which is a list where I want to keep requests of clients, there's to add list and now it's added and I can add a card like say over here it is embed Google Maps and I do add card and I say clients request adding Google adding Google Maps and I do do save and for now I can track it in this way and once this is ready to be picked in a backlog I can just move it to the backlog and then move it to a sprint and then ultimately pick it up. So in the next video we'll cover how we have these numbers next to each issue to uniquely identify them and also the calendar feature. And again, the key advantage of Trello over other apps like Jira or Backlog is that it's completely free. We can add up to 10 users. So if you click on invite, we can invite up to 10 users for free and make a team and track these issues. So we have really benefited from Trello and therefore we are sharing it with the wider community so you guys can benefit from it too. Thank you.